big bad boss Rook, who likes to talk about his appendage. Yeah, time for him to go. We find this method the easiest. We have two ad clearers, two people leeching, one person slamming, and one person doing callouts. To start this encounter, run up the steps to get him to spawn, then run back down before he boops you off the map. Now touch his bubble to get him to spawn the first node. First person to have leeching will shoot the node to gain the leeching buff. They will then stand on the glyph plate to spawn two more nodes, which the slammer will shoot the left node, the other leecher the right one to gain leeching. The slammer will now jump into one of Rourke's beams to change leeching to emanating, while the other leecher avoids Rourke's beams at all costs. If leeching is lost, then it can be regained once per phase, but if it's lost again, it will cause a wipe. The ad clearers will be clearing and focusing on the two glyph keepers that spawn. Like with the relic room, only the leechers can see the taken glyphs, while everyone else can see the scorn glyphs. The person doing the callouts will shout out the scorn glyphs, and the person emanating will say which one matches the taken glyph. At this point, they'll call out one of the totems with the matching symbol. There'll be two totems with the symbol. We only need the one for this method. The callouts being front left or right, mid left or right, and far left or right. The person emanating will go slam on that totem. As they slam, the person with leeching will stand on the plate to bring up the two nodes. Once again, the person slamming will shoot the left and the other leecher will shoot the right. Rinse and repeat for a total of six times. Now it's time to go upstairs. Upstairs, we need one slammer and one person on callouts. The other four are going to avoid Rourke, clear ads and crack weak spots after a totem has been slammed. When Rourke launches an attack, he will drop his glaive. The slammer will shoot and destroy his glaive to get leeching. This will also leave behind a glyph which the person doing callouts will shout out. Once again, the slammer will have to jump into Rourke's beams to get emanating, then slam the totem. The way I remember is light at the front where you first got the stairs, darkness at the back, pictures to the left side of the platform, and light dark symbols to the right. So pyramid is back left, and the symbol for light is front right. Once the totem has been slammed, Rourke will reveal a weak spot Shoot the weak spot until cracked, while the slammer will be shooting a glaive to get the next symbol. If someone else gets leeching while the slammer has leeching, the new glyph takes priority. So if you slam the old glyph, it will destroy you. After four slams and four weak spots cracked, it will be damage face. Hit him with everything until he goes immune, then run back downstairs to the starting position. Rinse and repeat, you have three damage phases before he enrages and wipes everyone. When you get him to his last stand, you will constantly get stacks of pervading darkness, so he must be dealt with before it reaches times 10 and wipes the team. Once he has been calcified, claim your loot, and good luck for the collective obligation.